Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I'm getting used to this camera. This is the first time I'm using the camera that came with the laptop my son gave me. So this is the Toshiba satellite laptop camera, which has no name, and I had problems with the audio. So I couldn't look up uh, a way to update the driver to see if that was the problem. <sighs> And I don't even really clearly know what changed to where now the audio works. I kind of think when I set up the Bluetooth for this sound bar, this is a Samsung sound bar. Oh no, Sony. Sony sound bar that my son had for a television um, and it's much lighter than my boom box so I'm using it as my speaker I think when I did that the audio kicked in for this camera but at first when I first used it it frustrated me because I couldn't get the sound no matter what I tried to do couldn't get the sound okay that being said I can't make this video too long because I am exhausted. But I had an absolutely amazing day. Amazing. And I'm going to have to get used to looking at that little blue light at the top of this screen. It's not quite like looking at my camera phone. But I had an amazing day today at the Capitol. I marched down uh, the street with the Green Party and rallied with them for our rights. We were chanting all types of uh, songs, you know, about freedom and not and not quitting and. It was very inspirational and I loved it. There were people there that had actually did the walk or march from Chicago. Now I can't do that one. But I did march with them for the the floor for the four blocks that was from the old capital to the new capital. Yep. I'm so anti-social anyway it was an amazing day I got a chance to meet lots of people because there weren't just people there from the Green Party there were all kinds of people there from different organizations mental health um, elderly disability and, and there was a chance for everybody you know um, I'm making this video because I couldn't upload it. Uh, I lost the audio on them. And I'm very frustrated about that because it seemed to work on the phone, but when I transferred it to the computer to upload, the audio won't work. I don't get that. That's frustrating the heck out of me. And I wanted to document, you know this day and you know put it on the map about the wonderful time I had today on today and that's my little t-shirt with the green party um, they had dinner afterwards but um, my son when he brought me home he accompanied me by the way which was a blessing because i was struggling in that line in the disabled line and part of why i'm doing this video is bring up some of my frustration about being disabled um my disability is real it's not me just you know want special privileges that I'm not entitled to. My condition entitles me to those
privileges. So when I got into the line with the disabled people, here this cop come out, or security guard, I don't know, um, kept coming out several times, this just for disabled people, this just for disabled people, and looking dead at me, as though I was causing people to come in that's not disabled. No, I qualify. And after standing in that line so long, come to find out that was something they really was deliberately doing, uh, making that line long, because they only had one um, security clearance open, which is ridiculous for the amounts of people that was there. And it was, you know, a, a sizable amount of people that, you know, were disabled just like me. And that took forever for us to get in with the one security clearance. So it was a lot more people from all different other factions and organizations there. And that took forever for them to get in. In fact, my party, the Green Party, didn't even get in before the speeches were over. But nevertheless, I'm glad I went. Now this morning, I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling it because I did not get enough rest. My back was off the chain because I had done gardening the day before, and I was just restless. Just, you know, my legs, this restless leg syndrome I got going on was keeping me woke. So I didn't really drift off to sleep until like a good 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. And all I was doing was dreading having to wake right back up to go to this rally. But I'm so glad I went. I don't regret going. Um, the fact that my son hopped up at the last minute to go with me was a blessing because we stand. I got a ride to the rally. And, oh, I appreciate that. Now, one other reason why I wanted to do this video desperately because I wanted to document how I look. Because you cannot see pain and you cannot see fatigue. But this is what it looks like. I am desperately fatigued. I am loaded with pain, especially my back. I have injured it and it just keep, I keep in a way, keep stirring it up and jarring it up. And today it got jarred up because I stood in this line forever. And by the time I got, well, first I did the march with them, you know, just walking a one block or two blocks with fibromyalgia that's enough to wear you out you don't have to do nothing else that's all it takes but i went the whole distance with them which was about five blocks um then i stood in a super long line and i it probably took about an hour just to get through the security clearance my back was off the chain just from that and adding to it I was carrying my laptop on you know on my shoulder and some more strain to my back and by the time we got past the clearance I was begging them for a chair to sit down I had to sit down my back couldn't take it no more and um so you add into that you know the activities of the day um on top of that what we did after that uh which i tried to make it back for their little dinner thing but took forever for my phone to recharge and so we just didn't really make it back in time to sit down i was hoping i was gonna get to try some eggplant from a restaurant but i said okay well i got eggplant at home and i'll do the eggplant uh when i get home didn't do the eggplant when I got home because I am exhausted. You're looking at the face who has not eaten anything today at all. I'm talking about no snacks, no breakfast, no lunch, no dinner. 
And I get home thinking, okay, I'll do the eggplant thing and show my little YouTube friends. I don't have the energy to get up and get off this bed. <laughs> Literally, I am too exhausted to eat. So that should give you an idea. I'm a big girl. I'm hungry, stomach growling. I can feel the bubbles of my stomach growling because I have not had anything to eat all day. Oh, yeah, and that's the other thing I did. I had to go to my doctor's office today and take a pee test just so I could get my medication. Um, that's on top, and I walked in, walked back. That's some more physical exertion. So, right now, it's like a level of fatigue and pain that is, is undescribable. And the only relief for it is to go to sleep, which is what I'm going to do right after this video. But I wanted to get this video down on the day while I'm in the happy spirits and mood for the rally. I really enjoyed that rally. I learned a lot. They gonna be seeing more of me. Now that I know how it goes, the sessions, how it goes, one advantage I got is I'm from Springfield. I'm here. I can walk right down there. It's in my neighborhood. I can walk down there like y'all walk to the CVS or corner store. I could walk to the Capitol and I love that. So I didn't get to say my little spew. Uh, which I had ready. Just got my little talking points. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it past y'all. I'm going to do it in front of y'all. I still didn't get to do it in front of the senators or legislators. But I will. I will. Once I get it memorized. Because I saw that I really had something to add that nobody else had to say. <clears throat> out of all them speeches that went down in the Capitol. I really think my story needs to be told. <clears throat> and I'm going to run it past y'all so I can get some practice. So I won't sound like a fool when I get in front of them senators and legislators. They need to know my story too. Um, as I said, you're looking at somebody who felt productive because I really did get a lot done. And... <clears throat> And despite the price that I'm paying with this overwhelming fatigue and pain, which of the two, the fatigue is more debilitating, but my back is off the chain because I uh, believe I really stirred it up from the garden yesterday and finished it up with carrying that computer four blocks today so I'm definitely gonna get some rest tonight I just wanted to jump on here and say that I'm so tired I'm too tired to take my clothes off which brings up something else I this is my tried and true swimsuit I got now with my little tie waist I love but guess what Yesterday, the hardest thing I had to do was put this swimming suit on. And not because it's too little. I actually lost weight. And some of y'all asked me, did I lose weight? I lost weight. The swimming suit is actually, you know, fitting me looser. But this is elastic. It's meant to fit you tight. And the hardest thing I had, the challenge, was trying to pull that thing up over my shoulder. This right shoulder is off the chain, bursitis, and it comes from this. The little mouth thing that, because I'm such a slave to the computer, I continue to aggravate and aggravate and aggravate reaching. One of these days, in a perfect world, I'm going to have one of those alt workstations where I can lay down and still compute. 
without having to keep reaching out in a non-ergonomic uh, position and re-injuring this arm. But my solution for the mall, because I'm not going to go through that madness and physical therapy, is that I'm going to go in clothes and not a swimsuit. Well, I ain't going to say it's clothes, but it is workout stuff. I'm just going to wear this top. This is a swim top. And these pants that I marched in. Because it's really basically made out the same material. And has that wicking property. It's made for workouts. So I'm putting that in the bag right now. Because I know when I finally collapse after this video. I may not hear no alarm. And I may not be awakened until my bus blow the horn to wake me up. Even if I set an alarm. Um, might not hear it because I know I'm going to fall asleep so fast. So fast. It'll make your head spin. Um, shout out to my chronic pain sufferers. You can do it. Don't give up on your dreams. I feel like things are falling into place just because I just would not give up. And even though, like, even with the garden, it's hard work, and I be wanting to give up on that every day. You know, if I just go by the way I feel. But it's fascinating to me. It's a piece of happiness I don't want to give up and um, so I just keep pushing on through I got mad today because it was beautiful sunny all day today I mean beautiful perfect day for a rally and march into the Capitol and as soon as we got home I knew it was a storm brewing um, just the way it felt yesterday but it didn't really come today I thought it was gonna rain on our little um, rally parade um, but it didn't. It held out and got home. It was still beautiful all the way to 6.30. And I'm telling you, come 7, 7, 7.30, boom, thunderstorm and everything. So everything is wet now. Mosquitoes have found a way to get in. I don't know where they came through. But, um, yeah, it rained. So they definitely are out there now. <sighs> and now you're seeing the exhaustion kick in. My eyelids are so heavy, they feel like they have weights on them and it's a struggle to keep them open. But I wanted to do this video when I'm in the midst and, the, and, and, and enthralled in the pain and fatigue episode just because I need for people to see how it looks. You're not going to be able to tell when I'm at my best or when I'm at my worst because this is like on a scale of 1 to 10. This is my worst for fatigue and that would be 10, 10, edging to 11, and pain, if I just go by my back, well, that's like a 9, pretty high, but just a little less than unbearable, and I'll still look happy, I'll still be talking about how I enjoyed life and things that went good in my life and I don't want to make the same mistake like I see a lot of the fibromyalgia groups and stuff do everybody comes on there and talk about how bad it is and that gets to be depressing 
And I know they got to have that because you can't really talk to anybody else but somebody who really has it about how bad it is and how bad it could get. This could get a lot worse if I don't go to sleep. It's probably not a good thing that I didn't eat anything. And so therefore... <laughs> I'm definitely going to be quite hungry when I wake up. Um, but you're now looking at the face of someone that is too exhausted to eat. I'm a big girl. How you, how you, how you be too tired to eat? That can't be possible. <laughs> that cannot be possible. Big girl got to eat. And I am one of them. When I'm my wake self, oh, I don't forget to eat. Oh, I don't forget to eat. My little grandbaby, she got that same little syndrome. She don't forget to eat. She could eat a, she could beat her at a three square meal. And if she see you eating something, she in on that too. So <laughs> we got the foodie syndrome. But right now, you're looking at somebody that is too exhausted to eat. I haven't had nothing to eat and thought I was going to get me a free Italian dish, pizza or something. Well, I couldn't deal with the pizza. And I asked, you know, could I have an eggplant dinner instead? But we got there late. So I didn't even get to get in on that. And definitely didn't try to do what my mind thought I was going to be able to do which was to make make it homemade from home that because i learned how to make a eggplant a parmesan dish that i just love but ain't gonna happen today <laughs> um and that's basically kind of what happens to all my videos i'll have great footage and want to share it but my energy or pain sometimes it's just the pain that stops me because if, if I got a mouse to do it and do any editing forget it my arm will be saying stop bitch stop 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 you don't want to do that no more so that really is interfering with me being consistent I do want to be more consistent I would like some ideals because I don't want to just assume you know what you want to see or what you want to watch but I do know that I have some followers that follow me on the chronic pain tip and oh yeah uh, by the way one of y'all um, had mentioned my skin yeah yes ma'am my skin has never been clear I literally be sitting up like this just rubbing myself cuz one thing about giving up me and eating a more of a plant-based food is your skin clears up. And I noticed that before I started. Because I used to look at Dr. Sabi's skin. Like, damn. And I kept thinking, well, that was like genetic. And um, he was just blessed. And he had that smooth black skin. Um, you know, because it ran in his family or something. But if you eat right. It has a positive effect on your skin. And they say, you know, that's your, like, second liver. So, what you put inside, it do appear right back out. And I'm telling you, my skin had been clear up until yesterday. Well, day before yesterday. Where I put away a whole box of Little Debbie Donuts. What I do that for? woke up with a big gigantic zit on my nose and I mean it was big it doesn't even give your body a chance to um hold off on the side effects once you learn how to eat right how once you learn and start doing that regularly consistently this these hands because they be working in the dirt and typing and keyboarding and building stuff. These stay rough. I'm telling you, these rough suckers is soft. With no lotion. 
Ain't had no lotion. Ain't no ash. Ain't had no lotion. Yes, your skin is the first sign of when your body is doing better. And I'm quite sure if I really just leave that sugar alone and put them damn cigarettes down, I might see some more improvement in my fibromyalgia symptoms. But one thing I can say is that this is day three of heavy physical exertion. And I made it. Even though I'm intensely fatigued, intensely in pain right now, I have been able to wake up and get back in the game again. So to me, that's the indicator of progress because there was a time if I did physical assertion, especially to the level that I have been doing, forget it. I ain't getting no back in the game the next day. Forget it. You know, that's what make you unemployable. Ain't no getting back in the game the next day. I made that mistake when I got myself back into school. Thought I could handle it. It ain't no getting back into the game the next day. After that physical exertion of the commute to the school, and then it was like a six-block walk from the train station to the school, I killed myself. I tried for three months, didn't last. By the third month, I hit the wall. And the only reason why it lasted the three months because I had a husband who was actually helping me, you know, with, you know, some of that. But... I still hit the wall, and by the time I let the teachers know that it, it just, it ain't nothing I can do, it's, I done hit the wall, I can't think, I can't function, um, they tried to change me to an online version, but that didn't work either, so, um, I had to drop out, and that's a hurt feeling when you have to give up your dream, however, this time around, they on me doing it all different. I started out with online. Didn't even try to be unrealistic by going to no, you know, school that I had to go to or have a commute on a regular basis. These three days of physical exertion, that's unusual. I don't usually have to have something back to back to back like that. I usually take one day to recover because, um my first therapy session which was monday i took all tuesday to recover but wednesday no i didn't get that recovery phase because i'm marching at the capitol and i'm not gonna get it today because in a few more hours i'm gonna have to get up and do physical therapy so but it is helping it's strengthening my arms my core, which I need because my back is hurting so bad that I couldn't really even get out the bed properly. Um, so I know it's weak in that midsection area, so I gotta do that <clears throat> to get better. Um, but I still got a lot to learn with pacing myself, and I don't want to bore y'all too long, but it was just very, very important to me because I couldn't put up the videos from the day where it was pretty exciting and um, I wanted to roll that footage out and but it wasn't cooperating it didn't have any video I mean audio and so I gotta figure out why the audio ain't working on the videos I shot for today at the Capitol Anyway, I'm going to get up out this video because I am exhausted. This is the face of exhaustion. Even when I'm happy and I felt very productive and accomplished. I still look like this. Exhausted and in lots of pain. So, till we meet again. Peace and love. I'm going to get a good night rest and start all over again. Oh, yeah, y'all. Thanks for the compliments on my hair. 
y'all know I've been whacking it off because I can't comb it. I can't keep this hand up. It took like three days just to do these braids on the top. I don't have no hair on the back. It's gone because I can't comb it. I can't groom on a daily basis and I couldn't wait till the summer came well warmer weather to get up out those hats and get into these braids so I can get up and go so I'm gonna hit this bed hard I, I may not even take this <laughs> outfit off because I don't know whether I'm gonna have time to get up and do the routine or uh, showering and since I got a shower there at the at the uh health club for the physical therapy I may just go ahead and sleep in this and so I'ma have get up and go ahead because that's one thing you get when you put braids in so thanks guys for all the compliments and yeah I'm getting up out this video bye y'all